Hello guys, welcome to my popular internet-based 3-star attack strategy video. On this video, I'm going to talk about this Town Hall 8 base. I don't know whether this is a popular internet base or not, uh, but because of its design, I thought uh, maybe I want to make a tutorial on this. I call this base design the maze because it is created in such a way that it will funnel your troops into a series of traps. Let's get to know this base a little bit more. Now let us first expose the placement of his traps. Uh, first we find out his Tesla is actually located here, here, and here. And then he has his giant bomb placed at 9 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 3 o'clock position. All these small gaps are actually spring traps placed here to trap any of your troops that have moved within the vicinity of the base. So if you were to deploy your troops, they are going to follow a path something like this. It's coming from here. If you're coming from the 2 o'clock position, it's going to look like this. If you come from 5 o'clock, it's going to look like this. And if you come from 7 o'clock, it's going to look like this. Now realize all the white lines actually intercepts the traps that he plays uh, for you. So for me, the plan is to tackle this place using a Hogan attack, which is, consists of half dragon, half hawks. The reason I suggested this is because of the placement of their air defense. If you realize, they are actually quite exposed. So what I recommended is for them to carry two lightning spell and one earthquake spell to take out this air defense. Get the can castle rule, pull them over to a site somewhere around here, take them out with a bunch of dragons. And then what you do next is to deploy his hawks somewhere like this. And then the other one was going to come in like this. And they are going to take out these two air defense. So what happened is the dragons are going to come in after taking out clan castle troops and wipe out the base with minimum resistance. And the hawks in the same time hopefully that they are going to wipe out uh, some other defenses as well uh, using another heal spell that we carry as an extra. But instead of following my suggestion, my clanmate actually decided to use a more basic go wipe attack. Come and look at it. It actually makes a good sense because you see, the look at this base. The spring traps and the giant bombs are very effective against hawks and giants, but it barely does any damage to golems and pekkas. Now that's the first reason. And the second reason is, if you look at this base with the design of the walls, you hardly see any close compartments. There's only four that I realize, which is highlighted in yellow. And you can see there's not many defensive structures that are being protected. Uh, there's only a few wizard towers and a cannon. And if you were to deploy your troops, your P.E.K.K.A. and your Golems are going to move in with minimum resistance at all. They are just going to move in, you know, step through all the ineffective spring traps and giant bombs, and they are going to take out the whole base with ease. So what he does is, what he planned to do is first to do the Clan Castle Lure using his one hawk here. So this will allow the clan castle troops and he will pull them all somewhere around here and take them out with some kill squad uh, wizards and some archers. And once that's done, he deploy his golem at 5 o'clock position and another one at 2 o'clock position. So this actually creates an area of protection somewhere around here. Now this is where his kill squads are going to come in. So he deploy more wizards, followed by his Pekas and his hero that will come in. And he also carry a couple of heal spells and uh, raid spells to do the job. So let's look at the actual attack to get a better picture. Let us have a look at his troop composition for this attack. He carries two golem, around 19 wizards, since there's no wall breaker required for this attack, he can bring more wizards instead. Also, he carries two Pekka, one in the clan castle, so it makes it three, 
one hog for the clan castle lure, one minion plus a couple of archers and barbarians. These are used to pull the clan castle units towards a corner for a kill. Same time, he also carries two rage spell, one heal and one poison. As you can see here, this is quite a typical go wide formation. And let's see how well this actually works out. First he drops his hawk, pull out a dragon and a balloon. Use a minion to pull them towards a corner. The problem is he used a minion instead of an archer, which is not effective as effective in pulling the balloon. But anyhow, let's move on. Now because he fails to pull the balloon, now he has to deploy a few more barbarians to do the job. Eventually he deploys his archer for distraction, followed by three wizards for the kill. Now one thing that I want to highlight here is his kill squad. A dragon typically will always target the person closest to it. The problem is archer and wizards has the same attacking distance. So there are chances that the dragon might target the wizard instead of his archer. What I will always do in this case is to bring more barbarian in case. Instead, deploy them one by one as close as possible to the dragon so they will target the barbarian instead of the precious wizards. If you want to know more about this, you can see one of my video. I have left a link below. There I'll show you how to actually kill enemy dragon in less than 50 seconds, which is also I think the most effective way of doing it. Anyhow, let's move on. Eventually he managed to take out enemy CC troop with a cost of one wizards. Once the clan castle troops are down, he deployed his golem. Followed by his line of wizards and his Pekas and Hero. One thing to note here is, if you want to deploy your Golem in this attack, make sure you let the Golem move in and really tank your DPS units. See how effective it is the Golem actually move towards all the defensive structures and trigger all the traps. The heroes and his P.E.K.K.A also do a good job by moving ahead of his wizards so that they don't get affected by the traps. Almost within seconds, half of the base is already gone because the P.E.K.K.A and golems manage to move through all the defenses with almost minimal resistance. As you realize later, the last bomb is going to get triggered. Which almost done nothing at all except manage to bounce off one wizard. So 91% of damage, he still has most of his troop still surviving. So that's it. 3 star, 100% damage. So to wrap things up. If you're using this base, I really recommend you to change it because it's just not as effective as you think it will be. And for those who are actually facing this base in their war, you can easily use a go wipe attack to tackle this base. And if you have any better comments, can you leave your comments below? Subscribe to us if you like more 3 star attack videos against all this popular base. And again, thank you for watching, we'll see you soon.